Welcome to DPV Technology. Today in this tutorial, I am going to show you how to blink LEDs of different colors with Arduino. To make this project, you need one Arduino UNO board. LEDs, four LEDs of different colors, one 320 ohm resistor, breadboard, one breadboard, and male to male jumper wire. If you don't have male to male jumper wire, then you can use the general wire also. Okay. Now we have to write the code. To write the code, open Arduino ID in your computer and write the following codes. In an Arduino IDE, generally there are three sections. First section begins from the beginning to before the void setup statement. That is from here to here. And second section from void setup to this portion that is from void setup to before the curly brace and third section from void loop to the last. So in the first section generally we have to define the pins in which we connect the components. Since from the figure we have seen that the positive terminal of the red LED is connected to the pin number 8 of the Arduino. So we have to define like this INT red LED equal to 8. This means that we are taking a variable named red LED of integer type and it is assigned to value 8. Similarly, we have to define for yellow LED, green LED and white LED. This is INT, yellow LED equal to 9. This means pin number 9 of the Arduino is connected to the yellow LED. You can choose any name, but I am taking these names because it is easy to understand. INT yellow LED equal to 9, INT green LED equal to 10, INT white LED equal to 11. Now, in the second section, that is in void setup, we have to define the pins, define the pin modes, which pin is acting as an output, which pin is acting as an input. Since we have to supply voltage to the LED terminal, so we have to define all the pins that is 8, 9, 10, 11 as an output pin. So we have to define like this pin mode red LED output that is pin number 8 is, is acting as an output pin. Similarly, pin mode yellow LED output that is pin number 9 is acting as an output pin pin mode green LED output pin mode white LED output all these pins are acting as an output pin that is these pins supply voltage to the positive terminals of the LEDs that is why these are output pins. If we are taking input from any sensors, then we have to write pin mode, that sensor name or sensor pin number and uh, here input because we are taking input from the sensor to the Arduino.
here we are giving output from the Arduino to the pin to the um, LED that is why these are outputs next in the loop section we have to write the main code that is uh, that is um, here you see uh, in the video that all the LEDs are blinking continuously one after another that, that is we have to write a code such that the statements of the codes are statements of the program are continuously running one after another that is why we have to write all the statements inside the loop so here what we have done in the program actually uh, we are supplying voltages to the positive terminal of the LEDs and then we are supplying zero volt to the terminal so that they turn off when we are supplying high voltage of 5 volt they will turn on and when we supply zero volt they turn off these codes actually implies that logic only so what i am writing here digital write red led high that is digital write is a function of the arduino so digital write red led high means red led means pin number eight we are supplying a high voltage high voltage this is high we are supplying a high voltage of 5 volt to the pin number 8 since we are supplying voltage of 5 volt so this will go to the led so as soon as the execution of the statement the led red led will get a high voltage of positive 5 volt so it will turn on now we want to turn on is on this led for two seconds so i have to write delay 2000 this means 2000 milliseconds so 2000 milliseconds equal to two seconds so this led will turn on for two seconds next now i want to put out turn off the led so i am writing digital write red led equal e comma low this statement will supply a zero volt to the pin number red led that is to the pin number a and as after the execution of this statement the red led will turn off and i am supplying a delay here 1000 millisecond that is one second this delay is actually not required but to stable the arduino processor from one when it comes from one statement to another statement in between them some delay is required to stable that is why i am supplying a delay of one second you you can choose any delay any delay um, i am supplying one 1000 millisecond that is one second you can give uh, you can supply uh, you can introduce 10 second 10 millisecond 10 microsecond the microsecond delay is uh, sufficient to stable the system next i want to turn on real led so i am writing digital light yellow led high digital light means it supplies a high voltage or a low voltage when you write digital light when you write digital light to a any pin then it will supply a high voltage or a low voltage of zero volt here i am writing digital light pin number is comma high so it will supply high voltage so digital light yellow led high that is yellow led is connected here pin number nine so digital light pin number nine high that is after execution of this statement pin number nine will get a high voltage of five volt and the yellow led will turn on and i want to turn on the led for two seconds that is why i am writing this delay 2000 millisecond that is delay 2000 second 
then I want to turn off 2000 millisecond that is 2, two seconds <laughs> next I want to write uh, digital write yellow LED do low that is I want to turn off the yellow LED then I am uh, introducing a delay of one second then again I am writing the codes for green LED and for white LED and uh, like this when the control will come to this first uh, come to this portion the the control next go to here because it is inside the loop and is go to here again the code same code will be executed